Welcome to FTL Multiverse, everybody. It's our very first run with the very first ship of what looks to be a billion. Looking forward to it. Let's go. You take a look at the distant swirls of space as the stars fly past. This is the beginning of the next chapter in your saga. What will await you next? Before your mission begins, it might be time to prepare before you arrive at the warp bay. What would you like to do? Configure your challenge level. You're about to change your challenge level, which will change the way you experience multiverse. Clicking on an option will give you a second confirmation and more details. You can change your challenge mode as many times as you'd like before you begin, but once you've started your run, you cannot... Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go normal for sure. Okay. The standard mode plays the way the mod was originally designed. Yeah, right? Okay. Confirm decision. Good. Great. Uh, read over the mission debriefing again? Sure. You are no ordinary ship, and this is no ordinary mission. You were born and raised in Universe Zero, a reality where a heroic Federation vessel triumphed over the Rebel flagship and ensured the Federation's victory. Ah, okay, so this is a postscript. The Federation forces chase the Rebels out of Node 17, the Federation capital. Unfortunately, not every reality had a ship like this. The destruction of the flagship AI rendered all of the Rebel automated vessels completely unable to act on their own. In a desperate last-ditch distraction, the Rebels gave one last command to all of their auto ships to go on a kamikaze run directly into any nearby Federation ships. This resulted in a horribly bloody massacre, and Admiral Vance of the Rebel fleet escaped unharmed. The massacre of Node 17 remained the last major battle of the Federation Civil War. The Rebel forces were crippled, and the Federation quickly retook Universe Zero, this piece would not last when a rebel salvage operation stumbled across a, starting pe a startling piece of technology. A strange black cubicle vessel containing what would soon be known as the first multiverse drive. This was the beginning of something very, very bad. The rebels began the construction of a brand new fleet of ships wielding the power of this multiverse tech, which granted them the capability of traversing other realities. Many of such places were still in the midst of the same civil war that the Universe Zero Rebels had lost. This was their chance at revenge. The new Rebel fleet overtook those realities with brutal efficiency, slaughtering the Federation forces and establishing a new galactic order in every single one they came across. Naturally, it was only a matter of time until the Federation of Universe Zero caught wind of this. They captured and reverse-engineered the Rebel Multiverse tech and built their own fleet. Many others, whether they be civilians, pirates, aliens, or some other group, also obtained Multiverse drives and installed them on their ships. You are piloting one of these ships. Now that the line between realities has been blurred, it's impossible to truly tell how long this new, endless war has been going on for. The Rebels and Federation compete head-on, invading new realities and trying to sway the ongoing civil war to their side. Also, it happens to be a convenient explanation for the roguelike gameplay. It's your task to hunt down the multiverse flagship the Rebels have dispatched to this reality and destroy it before it can defeat this reality's federation. Good luck, Captain. Alright. That was a lot of reading for the very beginning. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I'm going to take a sip. I blacked out for a bit. Can you repeat that? Yeah, we can do that again real quick. Hold on. I'll just read that entire thing one more time. Oh, boy. Fourth wall got obliterated, dude. Yeah, no kidding. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> the year was 9,999. You're about to arrive at the nearest Federation warp bay. These hangar-like structures act as beacons of sorts for traveling between multiverses. Let's hope you're given a nice warm welcome and not greeted by a fleet of angry rebels or pirates, right? I certainly hope so, right? You slowly exit hyperspeed, transitioning to a speed safe for landing, and steer closer to the hangar below. 
There, your ship is stocked up and prepped to head out into this foreign galaxy. You hurry to your ship, but realize you still have a little time before you leave. You likely have time to grab one last thing. Hmm. Okay. I want to get another crew member, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I want to be able to draw another name, right? That alone is a pretty good reason. Confident with your new crew, you prepare to continue on your mission. Cool. Finally suited up and ready to go, you take a look at your beacon map. Looks like you still have a while until the fleet becomes an immediate threat, so you can spare some time to do something on the ship if you wish. Uh, sure, yeah. What do you want to do? Oh, this is cool. So I have to wait a second to rename that person. Um, let's talk to the crew, sure. You look around for some crew- I'm not gonna talk to the fucking human. I'm gonna talk to the flower boy, obviously. Uh, look for your orchid. What do you want to do with your orchid? Talk to them. Your orchid wonders what it's like to live alone as the separatists do. They want to try it sometime. We're gonna archive the pick me, by the way, so don't worry about doing it for now. I'm gonna- I'm gonna do a whole new one. Uh, check the mission report, I guess. Apparently this doesn't, like, actually elapse time here. You're now viewing the mission report. Here you can see any secrets or special events you've encountered on this run. If a category appears empty, it means you haven't found anything that goes there yet. Oh, cool. Yeah, here, I'm just gonna archive that so you guys don't keep getting confused. This is neat. So this is like a catalog, right? Like the encyclopedia of... Yeah, that's really neat. Okay. I like that. Cool. <laughs> We're gonna... <laughs> okay, until everybody realizes that the pick me is currently not active. We're going to emote only. What system do you want to upgrade? Uh, let's see. I mean... Oh, this is... Wait, is it gonna be... I wonder if we can access this still, if this is the only way we can do the upgrades now. Onboard tech. Whoa, holy shit. You can- all oh, that look at all these different options. You got defense scrambler on there. Energy shield bypass. Ooh. Oh, man. Okay. Install an arm. Yeah! Oh, shit. I gotta get a scrap gatherer going. I wonder what a magnetic arm does. That seems cool. Okay, so the shields. Performance upgrade. Man, this is neat. Do, do, do. Well, can't afford any of that, obviously. obviously. Install the onboard lab. Can be used to install upgrades for your crew at empty beacons. You can install the lab for free with a level 2 med bay, otherwise you must use additional resources. Okay. Cool. Well, here we go. We're finally there. Alright, and now... Now that the giveaway's actually open, now you go ahead and type pick me in the chat, okay? Okay, there you go. There you go. Get that out of your system. This is cool. So I think this is what happens when you run into an empty node. Is my assumption. I love like the... Oh man, it's like a hangar. And all the little guys hanging out doing things down here. This is so cool, man. I'm really into that. Alright, obviously we want to try to power up our weapons here in a moment too. Oh, and look at that! You see the exact time... ...that they're gonna be ready. I love that, too. Alright. Anyway, here we go. Curdy Bird! Congratulations! You are our new human. Welcome to the team. Curdy Bird. You are going to be... Our shields expert. Very nice. Save them spots. Ah, it's a bummer, Robin. I'll be doing better soon. 
Man. This thing is such a change, it doesn't feel like a mod. I mean, we've only even scratched the surface so far, right? Yeah, this is really impressive so far. This is looking really solid. Okay. I think we're ready to start, finally. What is this? Toggle advanced information. Additional info when hovering over crew or we reading weapon stats. Cool. So if I do that, and then I do this, what does that change if I'm looking at these guys without that? Ah, okay, so that changes that a little bit. Hmm, interesting. I'll keep that on. That seems useful. Alright! Goodness, man, that was... There's so much going on already. Alright, here we go. Man, seeing this... This brings me right back. I used to play this, um text-based space adventure game like 20 fucking years ago holy shit now that I think about it uh, it was called Imperial Conflict and it looked a lot like this like this particular kind of like galaxy JPEG makes me think about it because it reminds me of like going to uh, different planets in this text-based game and uh just has a similar vibe to it. I was really hoping that just by saying that, at least one person would jump out from my past and be like, Oh, I also played Imperial Conflict, but I think it's a little bit more niche than I thought it was back then. Wait a fucking minute, I played Imperial Conflict. There we go! Good! One person! Thank you. <laughs> anyway, let's hit a beacon. Ooh, sparkly, dude. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our be- Oh, no, that, I'm, I've done this song and dance before. Come on now. You get ready to prepare for combat. What do you want to do? Do some last minute checkups while we charge the weapons. As the enemy ship approaches, you look for what you can do. There'll be no verification for any of these options, so make sure you're set on what you select. Converts some scrap into a last-minute missile supply. That's really cool. Wow. Okay. I don't need to do any of that. That's neat. All right, we're ready to go. We got crew teleporting coming in. We're gonna go ahead and just send you the doors. Open these suckers up. Oh, what is that? A stick. Oh no, his name. <laughs> his name is Stick. He's a vamp weed. Oh, that's another uh, one of those orchid guys, but that's like a different kind. We can see his exact HP. That is super nice. Zook! Is it the 44 months? Welcome well, on back in, Bear Hugs. Appreciate that very much. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you going? An evil orchid. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That ability to change scrap in a drone and missile, or drone parts and missiles, is huge. It's really handy. Alright, so this thing does not deal a ton of damage. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a very effective invader. I'm just going to go ahead and auto-fire on their weapons. It looks like probably the best bet right now. Now we get to see how our weapons perform, too. That's exciting. Ooh, that's a fun sound. I like that. Oh, we have another door right there. That's convenient. You're gonna run into problems. I'm just gonna keep those weapons offline, I think. Maybe cycle over to shields now. Is the game a little loud? I can turn it down. Yeah, it's probably a slightly different balance from the vanilla game here. There we go. That still works the same way. Boop, doop, boop, boop, boop. The new HP reading is pretty, pretty uh, interesting. I definitely like it. Do, 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 do. I wonder if I can see... Nah, I can't see what weapons they have. I bet you can if you upgrade your sensors or something. Those new laser sounds are fun. The destruction you've brought upon the pirates has proven effective. That's a fancy way of saying we blew them up. Alright. 
cool. One thing I noticed with multiverse, very nice layouts for venting your ships. Yeah, that's probably something they considered, huh? Very kind uh, in that regard, these layouts for sure. Is it? No, we just have. I think this is just a different uh, visual for it. You can see right here, this number represents our actual HP, yeah. So it's just a different visual representation. Do, 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 do. Let's go. Gotta hit these supply beacons, right? That definitely seems important. Yeah, let's go. Let's not go down into that dead end. That's a bad plan. Let's just hit that one. It appears this beacon was home to a Federation outpost. Attack the pirates, of course. Of course. No need for last minute checkups. We're good to go. Got another crew teleporter. So I'm just gonna keep my, uh, curdy bird and shields for now. Or not shields, uh, doors. This seems like it's probably gonna help me out. Oh shit! Plant versus plant! Dude, okay, now I want to ro watch Robot Wars, but it's plants that fight. Plant Wars. It's just like the most boring, slowest shit imaginable. Like we have to speed it up by like 500 times just to show them actually attempting to move toward each other. I'm into that. <laughs> Plotted plants on Roombas. Okay, no, never mind. We got it. We figured it out. That's the way to go. Well, I mean, he took care of the problem there, I guess. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, um... Definitely into everything we have seen so far. The encounters don't feel like they've been very different, but that's, you know, kind of to be expected. Salvage the remaining supplies! You skirt around the edge of the depot, looking for any remaining loot. Though the pirates took all the weapons and armor, quite a few resources remain. Four missiles. That's really nice. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna keep you in doors for now. I really wish there was just a door right there between these two. That'd be super convenient, but... Oh, well. Oh, I just realized... The plant was probably kind of countering the venting we were doing there a little bit. Because it felt like that room might have gotten the O2 sucked out of it uh, in time were it not for the fact that that was a plant character in that room. I think that was delaying that just a little bit. That's interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, you stay there. If you really wanted to, you could depower O2 and leave all the doors open and the orchid can handle it. Really? You're right! Whoa! Wait a minute, I thought I said that they don't... I could have sworn it said that that doesn't work when the O2 is... Oh, it's if you don't have the O2 system! As long as you have the system, you don't have to have it powered, you can just... Oh my god, that's awesome! Oh, the orchid's really good! That's like basically a Zoltan, dude! You are the O2 system, yeah! <laughs> that is sick! Alright. Well, we gotta keep you alive, huh? Oh, right, yeah, keep the doors open, too. Just an instinct in me said shut the doors right there. <laughs> Don't consider Orchid crew members just one power bar. They're people, too, like the Zoltans. You mean like the power bars? You mean like those people-shaped power bars that we come across every now and then. I guess they're kind of similar to those, yeah. We got NG crew for this. The Federation automated supply drone nearby is on the fritz, sparking and occasionally sending garbled, meaningless messages. We got an NG crew that, of course. Your NG's no stranger to working on auto ships and drones and easily identifies the problem. Nice. Oh, it patched up the hole, too, so that would have been a lot better were it not for the fact that we were already full HP there. Yeah, no, I realize the Orchid's not going to be good at putting out fires. That is the one trade-off there, right? For sure. 
Yeah, we'll hit up the merchant for sure. I'm excited to see what that's gonna be all about. I'm trying to read most of these encounters too, just in case we come across something new. Kinda wanna do that, that. Give us a little bit more scrap before we hit the merchant, and then we can get two supply beacons. We'll probably have to give up that one. That seems like a good idea. Let's do well. We can give up this node and probably hit all three supply beacons, actually, if I just hit the merchant right away. That would mean less scrap for the merchant, though. Ah, uh, let's do that. Rax, what's up, buddy? Looks like you found the traveling merchant yet again. Stranger, stranger. I'm Sylvan, an honest traveling merchant. Perhaps we haven't met yet. I tend to forget. I have traveled the realities vast, and I've seen much that the multiverse has to offer. Maybe we do some business. I have a gift for you as well, if that might persuade you. Attack, yeah, that seems like a good idea. Look at this motherfucker. Oh my god. Mind control, crew teleportation, hacking, drone control, level 5 shields, over shield, good lord. What looks to be at least four, no, six weapons. Jesus. Holy fuck. Imagine just accidentally hitting the number three here, man. Holy shit. I feel like if we fought this guy right now, he might actually just instantly kill me. It is insane. No, this is far and away harder than the flagship. Do it, right? Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> that is nuts! That's... I love it, by the way. This is cool as shit. This is really dope. This is like one of the first things we found too, man. Oh man, this is exciting. Shopkeepers you can fight that are more than able to kick your ass are fitting to the genre. Absolutely, yeah, no. I feel like FTL could have used something like this. So I'm glad they did it. I'm just sort of basking in it, man. It's awesome. Uh, let's go with... Sell some resources first? The one scrap stranger? High on resources? Oh, I'm high on resources, all right, you know what I mean? Uh, let's go with... Sell some ammo is probably a good idea since we're not using any missiles right now. That seems like a good idea. Ooh, damn! Hell yeah! 40 scrap! <laughs> okay. Is an 18 projectile volley on an 11 second timer. <laughs> that just seems... It just seems absurd. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm not using the missiles right now, man. Let's go. Let's make a trade. Any self-respecting multiverse traveler knows they need some gear if they are to survive. Energy weapons can disable systems while also causing hole damage. That's pretty cool. Anti... Pardon me. Anti-bio ion blast. Hmm. That's pretty good. That's a cool looking gun. I mean, this thing looks incredible, dude. This energy weapon can charge multiple times, giving it additional projectiles. Three max charged shots. Five and a half second charge time is pretty good. Sixteen and a half seconds to fully charge. It's not bad. It's like it's like a slightly worse burst laser too. That you can shoot earlier in the cycle or earlier in the uh, reload. I mean to say, that's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad though. Simple ion, chain ion. Oh, is that, th that is three power. Yeah, that's unfortunate. If that was two power, that'd be a lot better. 
Stun weapons function much like normal ions, but also temporarily paralyze crew. Oh, so we've... Okay, so that's very similar. Yeah, that bio-ion seems like a pretty damn good idea. But energy 2 is probably the best choice in my mind. It just seems like a really solid option. Doing both whole and system damage is pretty sick. I'm probably gonna get that. That seems like a good idea right now. No, it, it feels absolutely like a brand new game, man. Yeah, this really feels like FTL 1.5, if not just like FTL 2. Hmm. Does it show on the screen if a weapon is a missile weapon? I believe so. It's marked up, he's scamming you, you're right. We can clearly see. I'm gonna pull it up on Amazon, or Space Amazon, sorry, and be, well, I mean Amazon's in space now, right? Like, excuse me. This is very clearly listed at 60 scrap. I'll, I'll, I'll go get it cheaper somewhere else. I gotta pick this up, man. Let's give that a go. We'll try that instead of the Pierce laser. We'll see how that goes. Because that's gonna be the same amount of shots, right? Yeah. I think I'll probably want to we or, uh, upgrade weapons very soon here, because I think having all three of those online is going to be pretty damn effective. Of course, getting level 2 shields at some point here, too, is going to be a natural upgrade, but a lot we want to do already. Oh, yeah, of course, a scrap recovery arm would be an excellent early game upgrade, too. All right, here we go. A critically damaged civilian carry ship is nearby. Scans show their life support is beyond non-functional and they won't live long. Dock with the ship and save as many crew as you can. It appears the civilians didn't survive, though whether the lack of oxygen or the explosion was the culprit, you aren't sure. Well, alright. That's... THAT'S A LOT OF DAMAGE! You've arrived at a Federation supply depot for multiverse travelers. These were established across various realities deemed prominent for protection. A brief scan of your ID is all it takes until a Federation auto ship is dispatched to transfer over some supplies. Sweet. Let's do something aboard the ship. Let's perform an internal or install an internal upgrade. Um, onboard tech, install an arm, scrap gatherer. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Dope. And then to get a performance upgrade for the shields, which I assume is going to be the next level of shields, that's that's what my brain says this is, uh, that's going to be that much. So that's not too far away. We'll save up for that next. Oh, we need to upgrade weapons as well. Oh, wait a minute. No, hold on. I think this is still this... So what's the performance upgrade then? If we come to the spots like this, and it gives me the option to do a performance upgrade, but I, I can also spend the scrap to get the shield levels. Oh, probably a faster recharge speed. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that's probably what it is. I might still be pretty damn good though. But I think, yeah, obviously level two shields is still more important. Oh! Okay. Interesting. Huh. Hmm. Well, I don't have any scrap, so... That seems like a bad idea. Ruki! Bear hugs for him. Thank you very much for the 15 months on the pile. Welcome on back in. Appreciate it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that one. So I think I gotta go like that, 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 that. Because I want to try the Distress Beacon. I feel like the Distress Beacons are going to be interesting and exciting. You locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has spread virulently. Oh, this is the virus event. With no fear of catching the disease, your NG crew member helps reassure and organize the infected humans. Oh, well, we just got a reward for it. I believe this is the one where sometimes you can send the NG in and they 
appear to die, but then at the end of a, a combat, they return as like a superpowered NG called Virus. I think that's that event. But didn't happen that time, I guess. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's not that one. Okay, it's a different event. Got it, got it, got it. There's all kinds of different stores. There's a store in distress. That's kind of cool. I gotta go for the supply, though. I feel like that's gotta be pretty important. This beacon serves as a temporary outpost for multiverse drive equipped vessels established and maintained by the Federation. Federation officer who greets you apologizes and explains they're short on supplies. The best they can offer is a small helping of ammunition and scrap. Well, all right. I guess we'll take it. Oh man, we're, we're gonna be in trouble here, actually, shit. Ooh, boy. Okay. We'll never surrender crew to the slavers! I love that, the... Oh man, I should have given that more time in the sun. There's a little skull on that ship, that was, that was adorable. Alright, let's see how the energy weapon performs. Let's go ahead and auto-fire theirs. More teleport and crew. Ew! Get out of here, man. We don't want you on this ship. We don't want you around. Get out of here! You know what we're gonna do? Actually, we're gonna disperse O2 for our people with Plant Boy, but that guy doesn't get to have any of it. Only we get the O2, not you. Yeah, you can get the hell off my ship. Nice miss. Ooh, there we go, okay. Very nice. A heck of a start there. Let's go ahead and keep disabling those weapons here. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, uh, he's getting into doors. Shit. I guess we'll just fight there, it's probably fine. We'll just have to power up the medbay after this one. Doop, 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 doop. Okay. Yo! Nice, free NG! Big time, dude! Alright, off the shields with you. And we get to draw a name! Hooray! Ah, oh, this is going great so far, man. Alright, let's archive that giveaway and do a new one. P-I-C-K-M-E! All one word in the chat. Moobot will enter you into the drawing. And we'll rename this new NG character, too. Oh, hang on, I missed something there. The energy weapon doesn't works like an ion weapon. It doesn't do damage to the ship, though. Oh, I thought it still did damage. No, it does. Yeah, it does one base hole damage. That's why I was excited about it, because it does both. No, it definitely does both. But it's got a hit, right? Yeah, it's got a yeah, it's got a land. It, if it, well, yeah, no, obviously if it hits the yeah, it hits the shield, it doesn't do damage. Duh, of course. Am I misunderstanding about this? It doesn't do system damage. That's okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it does disable the system. Only does whole damage if it- okay, so you have to- Oh, so does that specifically mean- If it says base whole damage? If you hit a room with a system, it won't deal, like, actual HP damage to the ship? You have to hit an empty room? It still does, okay. Okay, okay. Anyway, Nihilium. Welcome on into the team. Congratulations. You are the new NG. There we go. Ugh. And I gotta get some water here, too. Just shoot something and find out. Yeah, I guess that's an easy way to do it, isn't it? There's the adorable little skull again, too. Alright, hey, we escaped certain death in Sector 1, at least. So far, anyway. I'm really liking these backgrounds. These are really nice. A slaver ship approaches. One of the... Tikakok clan's distributors? In a bold display of characteristic pirate arrogance, the ship opens comms with you and offers several slaves. 
We can't let Pirates Waltz in Federation space take these guys down. Take them down! Oh, they got... Gee, gee, Billy, your pirates let you have two lasers? Goodness. Okay. More crew teleporting, too. All right, here we go. Uh, you're gonna go boom, boom. And then... Open these doors up. Give these guys some O2. Nice. That's pretty good. And then we're gonna go ahead and do that. I think. Is that gonna work? Let's just seal that off for a moment. I think they'll be fine. Just vent this whole section too. Do, 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 do. I don't think this mantis is gonna be able to reach anybody, I'm pretty sure. Oh, fuck. Well, I guess that kind of works actually. There we go. Alright. Weapons offline. I'm already venting these. It's not gonna matter. Yeah, he's probably just gonna die. See ya, buddy. Goodbye. And back to normal. I think we just probably go for shields, I guess, at this point. That one laser's probably probably not really gonna matter anymore. Oh, now they got two, though. You bully. I can't believe we don't have to power O2. That's so sick. Oh my god. Okay. Hey, you're not allowed to deal damage after we agree to a surrender? That's not fair. Okay. Another brand new drawing. This is insane. But I'm very happy about it. Go ahead and type pick me again, everybody. P-I-C-K-M-E in the chat, all one word. You get yourself a chance to be the new Mantis in the crew. Hot diggity damn. Filling out the squad lickety split. Love it. Again, P-I-C-K-M-E. Pick me all one word, just like that. You got it. Perfect. And the new Mantis crew member. Oh, wouldn't you know it, it's Chotokana! What are the odds? Clearly rigged. Congrats, Cho. Ugh. Pardon the slurps. Alright. Six crew already, man. This is, uh, this is fantastic. This is really exciting. This is gonna help a lot. Barry, do you know about crew abilities? No, I do not. I looked briefly at the crew upgrade thing. Mantis has an ability. Active ability, temporarily increase speed and damage. Oh shit, how do you do that? How do you use it? A renewal. Oh, and this is the guy, this is toggles to nanite mode where it ignores doors and becomes damage resistant but can't fight or repair. Huh. That's weird. Dan Camvin! Thank you very much for the 32 months. Welcome on back. Bear Pile, appreciate it. Click the big white button. Oh, this one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool. Wow. That's awesome. All right. Good to know. Really useful crew abilities. Oh, man, I just noticed on the jump screen it shows you exactly how far they're gonna go. Oh, wait. Rebel Elite? Oh god, why? That's mean. Looks like you've stumbled into my ambush! <laughs> ah, fuck. Um... I guess I'll try this. Well, no, no, I still don't need to do this. Yeah, there's absolutely no need to... make these repairs. It only costs four scrap! 
Oh, no, that's twice as much as it would normally cost to repair. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. All right. Guess we gotta beat this guy. Do, 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 do. Um, still going. Let's go shields here, actually. Let's go ahead and go shields. Yet again with the teleport, and this is getting ridiculous. It's like every damn ship has a teleporter on it. Probably gonna have to power O2 here for a bit. Since I'm not really able to uh, get the uh, Orchid O2 through the ship right now. Boom, boom, boom. Oh shit! Yeah, just noticed that door too. There's so many venting options, it's so nice. I really like it. Oh, huge hit. Fire in the shields room? Oh shit, there go our weapons though. We can still hit their uh, weapons though, with a burst. Just gotta repair that really quickly. Let's send him in there to help him out. All right, Mantis, you're probably gonna have to go uh, help out with the combat there once this guy gets through the door. I'll use that uh, active ability actually. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. He's gonna get over there lickety split, dude. I'm really glad those lasers aren't synced up. This guy's a soldier. He hurts. Oh, 1.2 combat damage reduces damage from fires. Oh shit, that's kind of cool. Get that powered up. There we go. You go back to your post. Nice! Ooh, hoo, hoo, the burst hits! The fire here has been massive. Okay, there we go. Gonna redistribute the O2. Wait for the O2 to be back before the Mantis has to take any damage. There we go. Activate. Oh, he left. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that works. Whatever. We can depower O2 again. We can engine power back. And just auto fire on weapons, I guess. We're probably good. Yeah, I really like the variety in the crew types, man. That's so cool. Goodbye, weapons. All right, yeah, that was not too bad. Let me go back over to shields now for a minute. Oh, and sip my coffee. Mm-hmm. Keep them flames a-roaring. Yes, sir. Oh, these being synced up perfectly, too? Very nice. Ooh. Cool. Uh, do something aboard the ship? Talk to them. Your human asks you about your favorite type of music. The conversation doesn't last very long. Typical uninteresting human. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't need to do any of that. Look for the mantis. Talk to them. Your free mantis explains the concoction used in their pheromones has developed over several decades. With each generation, the scientists get dumber, but somehow the pheromones only get better. Cool. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Try and let me figure it out, Cerebral, please. With this being my very first round, I don't want you telling me exactly what to do. Uh, let's see. I think I want to... I'm going to probably just go ahead and get my, um... Level 2 shields here. I am curious what this will do. You might be able to salvage any space junk in the nearby area. How do you wish to proceed? Send out a randomly assorted team. Oh, we can do this once per sector. Okay. That's cool. Oddly enough, it appears a pair of boarding drones have been abandoned here in the Abyss. You can break them down for parts easily, but if you scan them for the schematics, you might risk activating one. Disable them first. Yo! Fortunately, your NG is able to disable the drones before scanning them. Oh, shit! That's pretty great. All right. Well, I gotta remember to try to do that very often. 
That is going to be huge. That is a lot of free scrap, yeah. Unless we happen to get drone control, which is pretty unlikely. There's our level 2 shields. Gonna need uh, another power bar, of course. I actually utilize that, but that feels pretty good. Alright, let's do it. Our first jump. Let's see. I think I'll probably take it easy for our first run here. Go, go with some green. Off to S14. Seems good. It's amazing to think long ago the idea of traveling between worlds in a matter of minutes to hours was nothing but a fantasy. While in hyperspeed, you have several options. You can proceed to your next sector or do something aboard the ship first. Learn about the Atlas. <laughs> the fucking options go off the box. The Atlas is used to guide ships through hyperspeed and ensure they don't jump into hazardous conditions. Do this, sectors must enter the coordinates of their start beacon into the atlas so that ships may be directed to it. Exclamation point after a sector name means there's a ship unlocked there. Oh, good to know. Thank you, man. Your atlas is currently pulling from the Federation database, but may be updated with new coordinates you find on your travels. Okay. Oh, man. This is, uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's... The big of a deal. Right, okay, and then... Locations of interest have been marked in certain sectors to denote a possible location. Oh, so that's what the exclamation point means, right? Okay, okay. And then, how do I reroute locations? You'll only be able to visit these sectors when... Okay, got it. Proceed. Good. The NG are non-violent and generally friendly with the Federation. You've arrived in NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. Despite being normally peaceful, the NG don't take lightly to intruders in their sectors. Fortunately for you, the guard here doesn't consider you an intruder and ignores you. Seems wise to ignore them in, in kind, but let's contact them. Hail has been received. Ooh, try to liberate the guard. Yeah. Refusal. Suggestion from criminals counters words of harmony. Initiating combat procedures. Ah, they don't, can I take kindly to me insulting the harmony, huh? What's that? Shoots down missiles and asteroids can be shut down by damaging the enemy ship's drone system. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Well, we're going weapons, I guess. We could probably go for the level two shields here. I really wish I had another power bar. Owie. Scan show the guard has sent a request for backup from an a ASB defense system. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Uh oh. Okay. I hope this ends fast. We need to get out of here before the ASB charges. I'm gonna power the engines a little more so I can run faster. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Oh man, I just keep missing shots too. Come on, ASB, just miss. Nope, that's not a miss. That's a lot of damage. That, as they say, is a lot of damage. I go fix it. Whew. Thank goodness for the orchid, right? There we go. All right, let's get the hell out of here. You defeated the NG guard. Whatever might have been in their cargo has for certain been destroyed, but at least you can salvage supplies from the ship. By killing the NG guard, you've no doubt caused them to dispatch reinforcements to track you down. Watch your step as you explore the sector. I kind of figured that might have some repercussions, yeah. That's not good. That's pretty bad. 
Oh boy. Here we go. Ooh, man. Cluster of NG satellites in orbit of a nearby planet are the only clue the mechanical species was ever here. You have other places to be. I mean, it, you know, it's I don't blame them for being a little mad about how I chose to proceed there. I mean, my choice of action upon intruding in into NG territory was to immediately attempt to liberate one of their NG crew members to join my team. And uh, when they denied my request, I blew them up. So, yeah, no, I'd be kind of pissed. An automated ship emitting this distress beacon signal is looping a message in a calming female voice. This automated vessel has received critical hull damage. It has been programmed to give a reward to anyone who repairs it. Destroy the ship. This damaged ship is in horrible condition, but it still manages to raise its weapons and defend itself. Also has hacking and a, and a defense drone. Okay. I mean, even if I had this scrap, I wasn't gonna trust this shit. I don't trust a rogue AI out in the middle of space, dude. F that. You're going down. Ain't getting my scrap. There we go. Now, normally it'd be kind of concerning that they hack piloting, but thankfully they don't have any weapons anymore. And they're dead! That's more like it. Barely anything! Two fuel and two missiles, man. That's not that's not bad at all. That's pretty good. There's a store. I don't have nearly enough scrap for that right now. Maybe if I could, like, bam bam, hit these three nodes and then go there? That might not be a bad idea. Ooh. We propose that you do not see the creature. There's nothing on the scanner, which is when you realize you can't see the creature because you're inside it! Scan the monstrosity! You detect a faint, arrhythmic subwave pattern. Could the creature be communicating? You forward your observations to the NG vessel and they thank you in turn. An ammo crate. Can be opened at empty beacons, can contain anywhere from 5 to 10 missiles. Oh, cool. Okay, neat. A renewal. Tug! 18 months. Bear hugs for him. Welcome on back into the pile. Thank you very much for the support. Much appreciated. Planet side anti ship batteries are detected in this system. Let's not. Let's just not. Let's get. You know, let's, let's avoid that one. Scans show a particularly large slip tunnel opening nearby. Someone with an MV drive is jumping in nearby. A fellow multiverse traveler. A true pleasure to meet you here, new friend. Now die. Oh. Bennett! Thank you very much for the 10 months. Welcome on back into you as well. I thought we were friends! Dude, this is... Ooh. He's got such a pretty ship. Look at his fun colors. So fun. Oh, I'm not going to be able to vent these guys. Ah, shit. All right, go fight them. Off with you, Cho. Take them on. Holy shit, you're fast. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you darting around? Get him! Get him! Alright, get them weapons. Oh, Cho is getting killed. Oh my god. That's not good. Tell you what, you go in there and you, like, distract these guys for a minute. You go... afford us a little bit of time to take care of this problem here. While Cho goes and doesn't die. That'd be ideal. There we go. I don't think we need the level 2 shields anymore. That'll work. Go ahead and keep auto firing those weapons. Med bay for Cho. 
And that ability recharges pretty quick, too. Look at this. Instantly right back to it. There we go. All right. Mind control's done with. That's not bad at all. Took care of that pretty easily. Med bay, and we're back to business. Two shields, ready to go. And a fire in the weapons room, love to see it. Oh yeah. There we go. Ah, freaking mind control. That's probably not an issue. That NG's not gonna be able to do enough damage. Kill the crew! Ah, that works. Goodbye, rainbow ship. Oh man. Feels like a wasted opportunity for communication between dimensions there, but I guess he is just a jerk. Guess he's just a big stinky smelly jerk. Alright, whatever. Off to the store. Ooh, new song! Oh. Uh-huh. 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 I like it. That's very good. Now open it up a little bit. This is building. It needs a drum. Put a drum in here somewhere. Or maybe not. No, hold on. Okay, I like this. This is this is good. No, you're right. My bad. I apologize. You had it right. I dare not question the artist again. Yeah, no, that's good. I like that. Drums are for combat. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. Man, that's fantastic. An automated Federation supply drone is stationed here. A simple ID scan should grant you access to its vending mode. Ooh, additional offers, huh? Hmm. I could attack it. wonder what scan your ID does. As you suspected, a simple scan is all it takes to access the drone store. Oh, this- oh, this is a store beacon. Duh, I'm an idiot. Right, okay, so this is just... gonna be a store. Oh, there's drone control. A fuel crate. What if that's... It's kind of a gamble, I guess. Obviously, if that contains five fuel, you're kind of bone. That's not really ever worth buying, probably. Yeah, I'll probably dump that ammo crate for sure. Disables the enemy engines, weakening the enemy engine system by two bars. Huh. <laughs> Loot boxes, right? Yeah. Ooh, this is weird. Controllable utility drone that can interface with systems. Provides power to an occupied room, can man systems at level 2 skill level. Whoa, cool. Zoltan's in drone form. Yeah, that's very interesting. These are combat drone. Huh. Dude. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to open this, right? I think I'd much rather just sell that. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell that. Hmm. Sure is, Tyler. That is working for me. Ugh. Oh boy, I kind of want to get drone control. A free Amphi drone. I wonder what that is. That seems interesting. I can sell one of these energy cannons still, too. I feel like a battle drone would be really fun. Let's do it, man. Let's get wild with it. Drone control. Online. I'll throw the uh, battle drone in there, too. Why not? So what does this do? A special toggle drone that can switch between combat and defense modes before combat. Interesting. 
Huh. The anti-personnel say it's... Con oh, controllable! Oh, shit! You can control this thing! That is sick. Before battle, you can change the toggle so the battle drone can be an anti-personnel or boarding drone. Oh, wow. That is really, really nice. That is awesome. Okay. Well. That was cool. Let's hit this distress beacon, I guess. I have a lot of time left in this area. It's just unfortunate that the layout didn't really, uh, is not, not really conducive to further exploration. Uh, search for the ship in the dense asteroid field. You find the decaying remains of a derelict crystalline station. There's a weird sense of deja vu. And in the corner is a stasis pod and a crystal weapon. It looks like a massive asteroid is in a direct collision course with the station. You have to pull your crew out, but they want to grab what they can first. Ooh. Let's take the stasis chamber. Your crew drags the pod back to your ship before the asteroid smashes into it, shattering through the crystal coating and destroying the ship. Yo! You're able to activate the stasis chamber once again and find the crystal alive, still alive inside. They're confused and wondering what year it is. What year is it? So you give them a very simple explanation as to your current situation, explain the Robin Williams meme to them, and hurry to leave the asteroid field. Bigby! Active Oh, yeah, the crystal guy. Nice. Cool. Uh, you're going into... You're kind of out of places to put people. I guess you'll go into weapons. Hmm. I wonder where it would be handy to be able to lock down a room. I gotta archive that giveaway, by the way. Let's do a new one here. Uh, go ahead and type pick me. P-I-C-K-M-E. We'll rename this Crystal Crew. I'm gonna put him... No, I do feel like probably putting him in weapons is good. Maybe doors. Probably not, though. I like having crystals in doors. They can't get into downgrade doors that way. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, I think I, I think I, I was having a thought along those same lines. I think I'll do that. That seems logical. All right, here we go. Let's draw this name. Tug two three four. Congratulations. You are the crystal crew. Ba-boom. Alright, cool. Going well. I think I can get away with going all the way around the edge here. Captain, we are Federation Terraforming Team C-12 and are in need of assistance. I offer it. We need to scan this planet for life before we can begin terraforming, but our sensors can't get the necessary power to scan through this atmosphere. Don't worry, I got you taken care of. A complete scan of the planet reveals no life signs other than a single ship on the surface. The terraformers thank you for your help and attempt to contact the ship. Just as you're about to jump away, the ship takes off and attacks! It's a pirate! Change your toggle. Let's set the state of the drone to offense. Cool. Okay. And then, that's good, I think. Yeah. Let's fight. Let's do it. Mind control on the Mantis, that's unfortunate. Hmm. I want to power that combat drone really bad right now. I guess we can do this. Pretty sure level one shields aren't a good idea right now, though. Hmm. That thing is slow. 
Holy shit. Alright, yeah, I don't think level 1 shields is a good idea here. Oof. Well, there goes my drone. Alright, I guess we're going to level 2 shields then. Made my, made my decision for me. Alright, Mantis is done being mind controlled. That's good. Let's send my human in to repair drones. That wasn't too bad. That is a long stun. Holy shit. It's taking a while. Can we be done being stunned now, please? It's been a solid 90 seconds of stun there. Good lord. Alright. I think we're good now. Ah, I gotta deal with the damn mind control again. That's okay. Get our sensors back. Keep those weapons offline. Shields will probably take a hit, but that's okay. Their weapons are staying off. Back to posts. And you'll just fix the shields up right away. Get that back online, we're good to go. Nice. Alright. Not that they're not bangers, but... Gotta hear myself think. Alright, uh... I can do this. I don't think it's a good idea, though. Yeah, we gotta get some power bars pronto. Intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. You land a small shuttle in an enormous field whose only I oh, it's these freaking things. Try to communicate peacefully. They just stand there. Looking at you like big dumb idiots. You prepare to leave. Alright, that was fun. At least they didn't murder me. Hello, travelers. Care to take up a bit of mercenary work? Some of our friends have taken to piracy. We'd like you to convince them of their poor decision by severely damaging their ship. We'll pay you well as long as you don't kill them all. Okay. Just be sure not to blow them up, they say nervously as they direct you to a nearby moon. You find the pirate ship docked there. They immediately respond to your appearance with your money or your life. They must be new to this. Let's do nothing here. Let's just go ahead and fire weapons. Yeah, what if we killed two of three crew? Is that acceptable? Is that a is that a message? There goes their weapons at least. Man, I wanna freaking I wanna board these guys. Two NG crew and a human? Oh wait, no, that's a Lanius. I wonder if a Lanius or a human is better at combat. I should also probably fire my weapons, that's probably a good idea. Might help a little bit. Man, I am loving not having to power O2. Forget your promise, they die! Alright, fine. Let them live. Ooh, a chain bomb! Huh. Pray tell. This bomb gets faster the more you fire it. Oh, shit. Spend all the missiles, yeah. Damn, dude, that's interesting. Only well, needs one power. Wow. I'm gonna do that. And then we can do that. And if I need bombs, I got bombs, dude. That's pretty goddamn good. Wow. We can do this. Oh, man. Uh, I can't sell these missiles anymore. Let's attack. The station is surprised by your sudden hostility, but prepares to defend themselves. This is a, a hilarious layout for this ship. This thing is huge, dude. 
Good God. I got two shields, though. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Yeah, this is my very, very first multiverse run. Oh, it's a station, not a ship. Right, yeah, of course. That makes perfect sense. It's a space station. That is really cool. Oh god, I gotta... Man, I keep not auto-firing. There we go. Dude, this thing! I don't know about that 20%. I think it's more like 80. That is just... Consistent. There's new music too, huh? Holy shit! Love it! Mm-hmm! Very good! JB Farley! Thank you for the 16 months on the pile. Welcome on back into you. Appreciate the support. Drums for combat here, here. I'm gonna save those bombs here for sure. Although, maybe, hold on, crew damage? 30 crew damage. Oh, they're so weak. Let's try this. That's gonna, yeah, they're gonna be forced to the med bay there for sure. He's got one freaking hit point, dude. That's probably worth a single bomb. Oh, this thing's shooting projectiles. Oh my god. I just realized that. Oh, there's their weapons offline. Fuck it, bomb the med bay. Just really mess with them. Just fuck this space station in particular, man. I don't know why- I don't know what's driving me to this feeling. I just really want to ruin these guys' day. There we go. Wow, that's pretty good. Replace the missiles we used. Link! Whoa! What? What is that? I gotta find out what that is. We're gonna have to dive for this. I gotta know what a Harmony Link is. I must know. It appears you've discovered a Harmony Link. These massive... Dude, look at that image in the background. These massive planet-sized structures are made up of trillions of nanobots and transmit a strong signal to all of the NG in the sector. An NG ship is resting nearby the Harmony Link. It's an elite, but they aren't attacking just yet. Request supplies. Harmony unit detected. Protocol requires aid to be given. Thanks. Oh, is that... That's it? Okay, yeah, that was... That was kind of underwhelming. Oh well. That's a cool picture. Alright, gotta run. Uh, let's see. Let's go for... They don't have any missiles or anything, so I'm pretty sure I'm just good to... Roll with my, uh, typical loadout here and probably just aim for weapons with the laser shots. I think we'll be okay. I think a chain bomb ought to do the work here. Hopefully get some good XP out of it. That sucked. Bomb's gonna hit at least. Shields are offline. That flak mostly missed. Another fire in the engines room or the weapons room, man. That's so good. This energy weapon has been killer. I'm gonna bomb their shields here for sure. Ah, oh, O2's offline shit. I think I still wanna just fire the volley though. Oh, they have ASB too, fuck. I gotta keep the engines powered as well. You probably better go repair O2 first. And you need to go help with repairs. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah, O2's less, less of a priority since we have the... Right, <laughs> I forgot the O2 has never been online. That's funny. It's never been an issue. Alright, there goes the... Uh, laser, but I think that just brought the flak back online. 
Those two will probably just go repair O2 anyway. Suppose this actually no the sensor's more important, so let's just uh, send the human to fix that. Oh no! Ow, that's bad. Okay, run. Fix. Help him. Oh, that's so terrible, dude. Oh god, that's so fucking bad. We missed our bomb too. That's a nightmare situation. Holy shit. Is he just dead? He's getting stunned by that? Holy shit. Really bad. Hmm. Alright, they're repairing now. I think they'll be okay. That's good, that helps. Quite a bit. I'm gonna stay on weapons with that. Sensors are back. Human's gonna go help repair O2. Okay, good. Landed our bomb. Shields should lo or shields should stay low. Set their weapons, I guess. Hmm. O2's well, two's back. These two are fine. Stan in piloting. That is repaired to the first level at least. Um, I'm gonna actually just bomb their weapons, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Ah, oh, another miss. Shit. ASB's coming back. What's their weapons offline, at least? Alright, as long as the ASB is a little kinder to me this time, I think we'll be okay. I'm only halfway to charging the FTL right now, unfortunately. I think I'm gonna just bomb their shields again. Might be our last bomb. There we go, that's good. Let's take the drone offline and then still hit their weapons. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's perfectly fine. Could have been a lot worse. I do need to repair the breach probably still. Yeah, that's not a huge issue. I think I can still get through those levels of shields. Good lord. They were repairing really quickly, man. Like, really quickly. It's crazy. It's beginning to feel like we're just gonna have to win this combat. Which is gonna be another ASB shot, unfortunately. I really want to try to not use a bunch of bombs here, but it's certainly helping a lot to have the option. That's good, okay. Do, do, do. I think it's probably if we're just not using these, then it's probably time to get that charging faster. Oh, we gotta run, dude. We just gotta get the hell out of here. Please get the engine up. Tell me it's gonna be there in time. I don't think it is. Fuck, dude. Good lord. Ah. I'm gonna need some repairs badly. Yeah, we're diving and it's not going well. I wanted to hit that harmony point, but I'm, be I'm pretty damn sure at this point that it was not worth it. But I had to know it was for science. I'd do it again in the name of science, I think. Come on, get that med bay back. Okay. I can jump. I probably should. It's not worth it to really stick around. We only get one fuel out of this. I might be able to kill them before the ASB fires, though, and I suppose it's worth it for the fuel at this point. Let's see how this next few seconds goes. 
We'll have extra shield recharging too. I'm getting experience out of this at least. These guys are getting a ton of experience. That's nice. Yeah, I think once the ASB pops, we'll definitely get out at that point, but for now, I think we might be okay. Well, once you know it. And their shields are back, so fuck it, see ya. No, hold on. One last shot. Maybe we can get it off. Three seconds? It's a bad idea, just go. Just go. Just, r just run away. Shell outreaches. I'm curious enough to go there. I gotta know what that is. I gotta know what this is. You've answered hyperspeed. New song. Oh shit. It must be an interesting life as a civilian who never leaves their home planet. It's a tough choice, for sure. But the life of a traveler is one you'd never pass up. The shells are usually friendly. But their cultural practices often lead to misunderstandings with races when they attempt to run harmless experiments on abducted crew. Try to be tolerant and the shells won't be much of an issue to you. Holy shit. These creatures are dis distant cousins of the slugs race, but they lack much of the aggressive and treacherous nature of the slugs. The shells value well-maintained defenses, not only on their ships, but their sector as a whole. As such, a guard ship has been deployed to protect the entrance beacon. Fortunately, they don't seem to mind you being here. Contact the guard. The shell captain is surprised to receive a hail from you. Still, he accepts your hail. Request supplies. Sorry, but I cannot give anything. The shell mutes your ship. Well, alright. I need some uh, repairs here. Pretty bad. Hey there, Lagap. I'll probably be done with Skyrim for now, to be honest with you. It was a nice little return to things, but I think that it got to the point where I was realizing, oh man, this game is huge. <laughs> Maybe we'll dive back into it at some point, but I have my, fill for, or I have my fun for now. I think I just need to keep my scrap for um, repairs, man. This is looking pretty grim. What was that noise? Shell space isn't too developed compared to many other regions, so it's not too unsurprising to find empty beacons such as this. Oh, I forgot to perform my task in the last sector, I think. I forgot to do a salvage mission. Let's repair the hole. Ooh. Your NG suggests using drone parts. Yeah. Yeah, it's far from efficient, but if they'll carry you into the next sector of store, it's all worth it. Oh, cool. It's a pretty big trade, but it certainly helps right now. Let's go here first. You're halted by a Zoltan science vessel. We request you do us a service by hunting down and capturing a shell vessel. We wish to re reverse engineer their toxins to develop a non-fatal paralyzing chemical for peaceful conflict resolution. It's imperative that you do not destroy the vessel so we may harvest the gas. Ooh, this music. Your actions here might not please the shell people. Continuously perform actions like this, and you might start to see negative reactions from shell guards. That makes sense. Let's see. Might want to go with an anti-personnel drone here. Yeah. I need to do that. Hmm. Let's, uh... Get the mind control on the human. Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh, I forgot to heal my people, too. Hmm. No, I meant I wanted him anti-personnel. I, I want him to be defending the intruders, because I think they're going to board us, too. I probably won't even use him, though. So I'm pretty sure we're probably just... 
Going for shields with our volley. Maybe not using the bombs here either. Doesn't seem too bad. They're in med bay right now as well. We'll just fight them there. Let's just send the mantis in. Let's just send Chotokana to murder them by, by herself. Away with you, Cho. Oh, shit! Plant boy! Oh, it's a shell! Double damage from asphyxiation. Takes slightly less damage in combat. Huh. Combusts violently with an active ability. Oh my god. Whoa! Yeah, there it went! They just went in there and fucking exploded, dude! What the fuck?! Run! Oh my god! He's blowing up our shields, man! Jesus! What the shell indeed. Okay, there we go. We'll go ahead for another volley on that. That's terrifying. They're just obliterating our shields, man. Shields are down. Oh, no! Oh, boy! Uh-oh. Let's get a... Maybe a combat drone, actually? Just to maybe get lucky and hit their... Yeah. I might be able to hit their weapons here, but yeah, this is gonna hit me for sure. Oof. There goes my drone! That's just great. That's just solid, dude. Off to med bay. Power O2 again. Oh my god. Go get him, Cho. You almost have your ability again. There we go. All right, got their weapons offline at least. Let's go ahead and bomb their weapons. These guys have some sort of self-healing ability? That's terrible. Okay. Good God. Hmm. Well, let's send you in to repair this. Oh, there's a breach there too, fuck. Oh, thank goodness. All right, their weapons are still offline. That's huge for us. I'm gonna give up some weapon recharge time just to be able to... Oh, they mind-controlled my crystal, too. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Well, drones are getting back. Please don't blow up again. Oh, right, you're not gonna blow up. That's your friend. You two need to go heal. Actually, just send the NG into repair right away. I don't have time to get you healed up. Same with you, actually. Doors are going down for sure. There's not much I can do about it. Alright, there we go. That's good. That's probably enough. Focus on shields a little bit. We get one layer of shields, that's good. I gotta try to stop them from doing more ship damage here, so I'm just gonna... Oh my god. As I'm saying it, the fucking thing just explodes and kills it. Good lord. Alright, go help fight. There we go, finally, Jesus. Back to posts, you three stay right there. There we go, all fixed. Back to posts, you repair weapons. Holy cow. Almost there. Almost there, tough fight. They're still hitting medbay? What the fuck? Get out of my ship! 
Get out of my damn ship! Thank you. Goodness. All right, you two. Get in there. You get in there. Okay. Though there are plenty more shells out there, the Zoltarns aren't please. Oh, I forgot I was supposed to leave them alive. They didn't tell me to not kill them. They're supposed to give me a prompt the moment before I blow them up, reminding me of my objective, realizing that I have the attention span of a gnat. Ah. Uh, they did tell. No, they. I know they told me beforehand, right? But they didn't prompt like at the end of the fight. You two are. You. You're all deliberately misrepresenting what I just said in an effort to improve the comedic value of the moment, which I can appreciate, but also don't appreciate. Misrepresenting my words. Get the sensors back, please. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Hmm. That. Good. There's that. Okay. Great. It's a lot of ships. Hopefully they're not as tough. Hail the shells. Hello. This might look bad, but we promise not to harm these civilians. We'll only run, run a couple tests on them. Explain the situation to the civilians. Look, you don't understand. The shells, they simply want to run experiments on you. The nature of which they will not reveal to us. It's perfectly fine. Your attempts at explaining only make the civilians even more afraid. They attempt to flee and the shells accuse you of assisting. God damn it. You got mind control again, man. Um, let's see. I'll try the border drone this time, see how that goes. That's probably gonna be better. They got freaking cloaking! Ah, oh, that's cool, I like that. I like that outline. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. They are well equipped, dude. Their weapons aren't incredible, but... Otherwise, pretty impressive. I need another power bar really badly. Really bad. Once they stop cloaking here, we're absolutely gonna send... Where'd this guy go? There he is. Oh, he wants to go blow up the engines, dude, I bet. Which is probably gonna hurt. Let's go in here and fight. Oh, they just explode the moment I enter the room. That's hilarious. Alright, yeah, they're done now. Okay, hold on. Uh, boarding drone? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, another new song! This ship is filled with a deadly neurotoxin which will passively damage non-shell crew over time. Oh, it's a good thing we're using a boarding drone. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. New banger alert. Wake up, honey, it's a new banger. Oh, get his ass, get his ass! There we go. That'll work. That'll do. Oof, all right. Low HP, low HP, gotta be careful. They are not cloaked, right? Are they cloaked? Yeah, they are, they are cloaked, okay. I'm gonna have to pay attention for that, Rex. Yeah, that's uh, concerning. Oh, shit. 
fire in O2, apparently. Okay, that's bad. Doors are almost back. Okay, there we go. Weapons offline. The boarding drone is doing big work. Um, I think we have to do that. We need to vent the O2. Fire. That you need to go to Med Bay pronto. So do you. I think they just murdered our boarding drone. Yeah, that's a, that's unfortunate. Probably did some good damage there though. All right, the uh, the O2. Oh shit, he was vented that whole time. Whoops. Oh man. Redistribute. And thankfully, again, O2 being powered was never really the big problem here. Okay, good. Yeah, Melody, it's amazing so far. We've been very impressed with this. I'll speak for everyone, but I feel like I'm accurate in my analysis. Oh, man, these, these shell ships are a pain in the ass, man. Very obnoxious. And I can't go in there, because the moment I do, he's going to explode. This goddamn sh cloaking, too? Jesus Christ. I guess we better go repair O2. Even though, again, it's not really a huge priority. But just, I don't want to send the Mantis in there, because that's going to be a bigger problem. One weapon offline, at least. Just one more point of damage, please. Okay, he, blow he just exploded, so I guess we'll go fight now. Cho, use your ability! Pheromone, attack! Get his ass! There we go! Alright, we actually killed one. Yay. There we go! Goodness. Finally. Contact the civilians. Most of the civilians didn't make it out of the con conflict alive. The last survivor requests to work aboard your ship. Wait, we can get eight crew members? Oh, that was always the limit, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, I thought it was seven for some reason. Sick. Cool, dude. Full crew. Gotta draw a new name. Let's get it. P.I.C. P-I-C-K-M-E. That's how you say those letters. All one word. Let's draw the last crew member, dude. Let's do it. I gotta give me a power bar. Into weapons with you. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Zeus. TFC. Almost certainly a name I've read before. But I'm not gonna fight Mubot. If Mubot decrees that you get a second chance, so be it. Welcome back. Alright. Yeah, I like it too, changed. It's nice. 64 syntax error. Thank you for the prime sub. Welcome back in, Bear Hugs Forum. We have got to repair this vessel. I do also really want another power bar here. So we can at least do this. Be very, very good. Honestly, it'd be really great to get two more, but I pretty I'm pretty sure I can't afford to do that. So off we go. Whole critical. A smuggler ship is trying to sneak their way through this nebula. They notice you watching them and attack, not wanting you to rat out their location. Doo, 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 doo. 
Hmm. I think we could probably handle this without any last minute changes here. I do kind of want to get one point of hull repair done. I'm going to do that. Just to make me feel a little, little, little tiny bit better. That's a big, scary gun. Okay. Um, I guess just do that. Ah, oh, man. I've only got four drone parts, too. Kind of concerned about that. I suppose I better just chain bomb anyway. Try and get that OS down faster. Oh, never mind. There we go. Oh, let's just hit their weapons. That might work. There we go. Okay, just the flak now. That's good. That's really good. Let's hit weapons again. Oh, no! Oh, wow. That was really nice. That was only two damage. Okay, there we go. Good stuff. Huge. It's just a little baby flak. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. There we go. Big time weapon damage. That's everything offline. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I thought of that as I was firing the energy weapon. I was like, like wait, yeah, no, this is going to do big work against the uh, against the overshield. And sure enough, it did. It's a weird looking ship, dude. There we go. Good amount of scrap out of that. Good stuff. I think I'm safe to do that now. We can get a drone online for some of these fights, which is probably going to be extremely helpful. The small military district is in shambles and their workforce on strike. Still, still, those most loyal to the geneocracy remain behind to protect their people. Protect them from who? You, apparently. Is that a goddamn Vulcan? Eep. Eep, I say. Okay. Uh, let's go for the combat drone here. That works. Go ahead and power that up. Engines online. And we are going to hit the shields to make the drone more effective. They've teleported on board to where? Where are they at? Ow, oh, okay. God, these shell borders are gonna be a huge pain. Oh, this is a different ability. Does two system damage. Holy shit. And their borders are very effective. It's terrifying, dude. Pretty sure we just win this combat. In fact, we'll send this other human in here just to make this easier. Yeah, I think we'll be okay here. I'll try to hang on to my bombs, I think, right now. So long as I can get the Vulcan offline before it gets too charged up. I should be okay here. I really should have shot that volley faster. There we go. Okay. Go for weapons now for sure. That Vulcan's gonna get scary. There we go. Got it offline. That's huge. Took a hit, unfortunately. That's a good dodge. I gotta heal these two. Actually, I gotta keep including on the engines right now. You gotta stay where you're at. Also gotta redistribute O2. I'm gonna medbay for a moment. On the shields. Huge. Big hits. Four fuels, not bad. That's pretty good. It's a drone part to replace the combat drone we used. I'll take it. I'll take it. Pretty good deal. And back to full HP. Love to see it. I'm gonna put this guy in O2. This seems like a decent idea. Let's have this dude in drone control. 
Just to give us access to most of the parts of the ship right away. Uh, I know we are really playing with fire here. But I feel okay. I haven't seen a lot of missiles, which I'm pretty into. I'm glad that there's a lot less... Did I literally just will that into existence? I think I did. Oh, it's a bomb. Okay, it's slightly different. Let's see. No crew teleporter this time. That's a lot nicer. I could go for the boarding drone here, but I think I'd like to save the drone part if I can. I don't think this laser is going to be that big of a deal. Let me just go for the uh, shields here. Okay. I'm going to go for the weapons next, Volley. Okay, that was fine, I guess. You need to go help repair. You need to go help repair. Actually, no, just the one guy. That wasn't too bad. I'm going to go ahead and bomb shields here. There we go. All right, that's their weapons completely offline. Go for their piloting to reduce the evade chance. I was very glad to see that that bomb did not do whole damage, so that makes me feel a lot more confident here. Piloting is repaired. Uh, they got their shields all the way back up, unfortunately. I'm probably going to have to go for another volley there. Three missiles. I can use those. Accepting a lot more surrender than is typical for me, man, but they're giving me good offers and I can't really say no. Here we go. They just blew up! <laughs> As we were jumping away, they exploded still. That's hilarious. They may not be sound in space, but the flashing from deep in the nebula suggests the battle is being raged, but you aren't sure by whom. The two ships seem to have destroyed each other and you get free stuff. Cool. Ooh, another good new song here, man. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is like... This is like Rat Jam at half speed. Can we do a half speed Rat Jam? Is that an option? Rat Jam 0.5 or something like that? Yeah, this is nice. And two, two separated rat champs, yeah. <laughs> Just look at it twice as fast. Yeah, there you go. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Whatever. Anyway, distress beacon. You spot a shell ship approaching a small slug transport. You aren't sure what the slugs did to deserve this, but the slugs are in trouble. Help them. Almost immediately after moving to help the slugs, they... Oh, baby. Send one last message to your ship's computer. Psych! Oh, I got psyched! I got fucking psyched, dude! Oh! Oh, my God. That hurts. That hurts. All right, here we go. Jabated. Dude, that's... This is a new bop, too, huh, isn't it? This is a big ass fucking gun. I don't want to see what that does. That's scary. Let's go with, uh. You know what? Board their ass. Do it. Right into weapons. Oh, I love that. That ought to help. Oof. Okay, no hole damage, but that's a big breach. Shields are disabled at the moment, I might as well go help with that. Send everybody in here to repair this weapons breach. Right away. Because that's really bad. That's really, really, really bad. Thankfully we still have three power there, so... Or two power, I mean, so I can do Chain Bomb Burst. We'll get that back online fairly quickly. Probably just gonna bomb shields for a burst to weapons. Seems best. Nice. 
There we go, okay. So that's still online, unfortunately. I think that, that might be okay, though. It might be alright. I don't know why I had web or, uh, med bay powered up there. Okay, boarding drone's dead. I think he did quite a bit of work still, though. Next volley of these two ought to do pretty well. That big-ass weapon they have is a lot less intimidating than I thought it was going to be. There we go. Good stuff. I don't think I need to use another bomb here. We're good, dude. Ah, you sons of bitches. How'd they get two levels of shields back right away? What the hell was that? That was some nonsense. Whatever, I think auto fire here is probably gonna do the job. There we go. I wanna wait for the connected volley. Hold on. And there we go. Another very good surrender offer. Holy shit. How do you say no to that, man? Four fuel, three missiles? That's awesome. Very nice. Very much like to find some repairs to do, though. Attack the pirate. That's a big ship. One more last minute repair, just in case. The, the, there's two whole points I've repaired with those decisions. They're gonna be the, the difference maker, I'll tell you what. Another boarding drone, why not? They got crew teleporter coming in. We boarded their crew teleporter, that's kinda weird. All right, you're gonna run a med bay, you're gonna run a med bay, you're gonna run a med bay, and we're just gonna suffocate these guys. Because they take double damage from asphyxiation, so that's a great way to handle these dudes. Especially because we can just lock them in there. We'll wait to see what doors they take. We'll shut these doors behind us. Chain bomb on shields coming up. That's a big flak. Oh shit, that's a big flak. That's scary. Oh boy. I think they're gonna stop hitting engines soon. I wanna wait on my chain bomb before I... Oh goodness, we blocked that. Wow, good. That's huge. Okay, they're going through O2 right now, which is perfect for us. I'm gonna go ahead and vent this as well. Keep them from going anywhere meaningful at that point. Almost have the chain ready. There we go, nice. And hit the weapons. Big hits. Alright, I think we're good from that. We're going into there now. I think those guys might just die. If they haven't already uh, been close to teleporting back. They might not be able to teleport back though. Going back. I don't know where they went. There we go, nice. Hmm. Looking good. I think we're fine. In fact, I don't know if they're on the ship anymore. I think they left. So let's just go back to posts here. Scan show they're trying to escape. That's not nearly as good of a surrender offer. You can do better than that. Come on now. Come on now. Seen way better surrenders from these pirates. Oh good, you're already dead. Hell yeah. Oh, that's actually a great point. Yeah, I completely forgot that the boarding drone is something that I control now. I'm so used to the boarding drone just going and doing its own thing. Yeah, I should absolutely take advantage of that. Okay. Uh, show me, uh, shop. No? Alright. Whatever. Small civilians aren't usually ones for direct combat. 
But with the bulk of the military district on strike, a few have felt the need to take it into their own hands to protect the sector. Apparently you're a threat because the nearby shell ship attacks. One more hull repair for, one, for four. It's gonna make a damn difference at some point. I'm gonna board these guys again. I'm gonna actually use the boarding drone this time too. I guess I should have healed my crew members. Freaking cloaking, dude. You know what? Go impede his progress for a moment. Boarding drone time. It's kind of a scary arsenal. Got their mind control. Oh, that's good. Okay, good. Fix that problem right away. No sensors damage for us. Very good dodge. And that's a level up for- ooh, look at you! Amabama! Expert pilot already, and Klune getting up there with the engines, too. You've got... Proficiencies developing across the board here, baby. Alright. Let's send the boarding drone into... Weapons. Oh, wait, no, he can't- right, yeah, he's not gonna be able to fire through the door. That makes sense. That was mistimed, whoops. Oh well. Ship's a lot closer than I thought. That's fine, I guess. Honestly, it's a pretty good use of the boarding drone there, just to have him wreak havoc in whatever system he wants. Go ahead and just send Zeus to the med bay, since there's no point in not doing that right now. So, same with Shotokano, same with Kurtabird. Ah, oh, damn, the mind control again. Alright, thankfully the drone control doesn't really matter anymore. I mostly just need to, uh, finish these guys off. Alright, just go dance around with her for a minute. I think if I keep at least one weapon offline, they can't hurt me. Alright, you two go back in that med bay again. Shields are good. Nice. Hey, alright. Let their cries of terror go in vain! Ha ha ha! <laughs> Good lord. I took one point of hull damage there, didn't I? Oh man, totally paying off to get that uh, one repair. Goodbye. Oh, it didn't kill you? Ah, oh, shit. I should have known. Ah, oh, the cloaking! God damn it. Can't heal these three yet, of course. Hey there, Rev. That's my control. Jesus. There we go, dude. Your weaponry is proven effective once again. Heal it up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Love it. No stores to be seen, dude. Oh well. Just sitting in a cr uh, critical hole for the rest of the run, I guess. A shell militant vessel is locked onto yours. You wonder if they're going to stop and scan you, but they instantly open fire! So much for shell space being friendly! <laughs> right? Ha! <laughs> Whatever. Last minute repair. Gotta do it. Oop, hold up, hold up, where are you going? Where are you going? So much for the tolerant shells. It almost works. It's very close, close enough, I'd say. Where the hell did they go? They're attacking Med Bay, that's eh, not a great idea. Not an extremely effective plan. My chubs! My dude, come here! He's a handsome boy. Oh no, the camera angle's terrible, bud. No one can see you. And Taffy's here too. Ah, oh, puppies came to say hello. Bubba dogs. Bubba dogs, hello. How's it going? How's it going? How you doing? 
George, good boy. George, good trouble. He's your hand, Jim. Chubbs, these shells are getting ridiculous, aren't they? What the shell, Chubbs? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> They're so sweet. What a prance. What a gallop. Uh, I think we're good. Just gotta blow up that shield. Kill the shell. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Ah, oh, he got away, son of a bitch. And take a single point of damage. No health lost. There we go, shields wiped out. I feel weirdly well equipped for this stage of the game, despite the fact that we're on 8 HP. Oh, pretty damn good. Silence their screams with your weapons. Jesus Christ, I feel like I'm going down the the anti-paragon route. What was that called? Everyone always does the paragon route, so no one ever knows what the other one's called. The shell ship explodes, sending clouds of poisonous gas into space. Renegade, that's the one. Antigon, right. A store! Oh my god, I can't believe it! I'm gonna go, go there first. Can I? I think so. Yeah. I mean, we survived every other encounter on 1 HP, right? Nearby drifts a shell biologist close to a large unpopulated planet. You receive a hail from the ship. Long ago, we think this planet might have been habitable. Even more so, it could hold the fossils to the missing link between the shell and slug races. Isn't that cool? I have no idea how they want me to read multiple H's in a row. That! <laughs> Express interest. Oh, it is so amazing to meet someone else who finds this interesting. Oh, oh, I know. I have a job for you if you're interested. There's a couple fossil samples on that planet that I want to collect, but the atmosphere is too thin for us to survive long. Do you think you could go get them for us? It's like the people from uh, Deep Bottom or whatever it is, Rock Bottom from SpongeBob. Do you think you could go get them for us? Retrieving them shouldn't be hard. There should be an abandoned dig site nearby. Literally the Rock Bottom dialogue, uh, dialect, yeah. That's amazing. You pilot down to the surface of the planet where you spot a smuggler ship and, uh, collecting the fossils for themselves. Hey, I wonder how much we could sell these funky rocks on the market. Ah, oh, crap, it's a fed, run! Uh, let's see, let's get one more hole point repaired. Nah, let's save it, dude. Nah, you never know when it can, when it can make the difference. You never know! And I'm pretty sure I don't actually have to use the chain bomb to whittle down their overshield. I also don't think they can hurt me. Because their weapons are pretty weak. Powerful weak. Yeah, they're fucking screwed, dude. This ship is not well equipped. That beam is pathetic. Goodbye. Sweet puppy dogs named together. Good puppers. Oh, I forgot they're charging their FTL. Whoops. Let's just bomb this. There we go. That'll <laughs> that'll delay it for a minute. That'll probably do the job. Hey, good stuff. Explain the situation to the shell. Oh, darn it. That's all right. You tried your best. You couldn't have known those smugglers were down there. Don't worry about it. My theories are correct. There should be more fossils down there somewhere to be dug up. All right, well. Whatever. So yeah, we're absolutely diving again because I'm a dumb idiot. Oh, no, 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 never mind. We're fine. I'm misreading it. We got it. The planet below appears to be undergoing a terraforming process. 
Around it orbits a small colony of scientists, it appears. In efforts to fund their research, they're selling military goods. Hail the scientists. The station appears to have several specialists in different fields. They'd be willing to work on your ship for a discounted price, but it won't be free. Huh. I mean, Rex is here, so I feel obligated to upgrade oxygen. <laughs> Uh, I mean, the teleporter seems okay. We got a lot of crew. Now, the doors is a very good one, though. Yeah, it's a, that's a very cheap doors upgrade. That's really nice. I'll probably just snag that. Sick. That's pretty good, dude. And we can still buy the teleporter, too. Small airborne recon drone. Huh. That's kind of weird. A maintenance drone. Another battle drone. Hmm. Holy shit. Oh, we saw that before, right? Yeah, I remember that. Laser chain changer? That's a weird name. Decrease cooldown by two seconds for each shot. Hmm, that's okay, I guess. Honestly, I feel like we're doing okay on weapons. We don't really need a lot of help there. In fact, I'm probably gonna sell one of these. Hmm. Oh, no, yeah, I get it. No, yeah, chain charger changer. No, yeah, it's just a weird name. Uh, well, we got to repair, obviously. So let's maybe get up to green again. I don't mind teleporter here. That seems like a fine choice. We have a couple of mantis crew that we could totally use that with. We have a full crew after all. It seems like a great option. I think I'll probably do that. I'll pick that up. Now we need to get more power and upgrade some systems as well. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. We can actually do this, which I like a lot more than using the Pierce rifle at the moment. And then if we just get one more weapons upgrade, that'd be huge. It's a lot of shots, man. For that little power, that is honestly very effective to get five laser shots for four power works really well. Yeah, honestly, I think we'd probably just go ahead and sell this. Yeah. Okay, and then... Let's see. I kind of just want to get that online, man. That feels really good. That's extremely good. And then... One more power bar gives us the ability to activate a drone as well, which is excellent. And I'm feeling pretty good now. All right, cool. So now we got to reassign folks. We're going to put our mantis in the teleporter. We're going to put... Oh, I could have sworn I had two mantis. I've got the mantis and I've got the crystal. Maybe the crystal would be a good border. Bye, puppies. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Let's do that. Boom, boom. Save spots. Love it. Okay. Give me just a moment, folks. I am going to go to the bathroom real quick. But I'll be right back with more FTL Multiverse.
All right. All right. Ugh. He's back. Yep. Here we go. Let's get it. Right back to bearsness. Oh, this already feels really good, man. For the condition we were in before we got to that shop, and then jump cut to this, this overlook. Oh, this feels much better. Much, much better. Let's get it. This long range beacon is almost hidden within the nebula. Check the storage. Uh, let's perform a task. Run a salvage mission. Send out a randomly assorted team. Extremely good. Happy with that. All right. Time to skedaddle, dude. Liberated sector. Let's hit it. Pretty nice first run here, man. I gotta say, things are going pretty well. The mild concern of smashing into a planet crosses your mind, but you figure some sort of security system is in place to prevent that, hopefully. Ooh, another nice new track here. The Separatists aren't huge friends to the Federation after they were refused support against the oppressive Harmony trying to stifle them. However, they usually like to keep to themselves and hopefully won't be of much issue to you. This is no regular NG sector. Liberated by the Separatists, the NG Harmony no longer co holds control over the sector. Ever since the Federation publicly refused to aid the Separatist efforts, the two factions have remained lukewarm. Unlike many other sectors, at the entry beacon here, there are no ships in sight. The Separatists like to enjoy individual lives and feel no need to protect their sector from intruders. That's cool. Hmm. Oh yeah. It's kind of interesting, maybe I'd look into doing this. I don't really know what that does for me though, so I'm kind of hesitant. Let's see. I wonder what emancipation grills do. Extinguishers, breach sealant. It's a lot of really cool stuff. Do, do, do. No, nah, don't tell me what the lab does yet. I'll figure it out eventually. That makes sense. We can get a level 4 medbay, holy shit. Well, medbay's power crew gain an extra 25% movement speed for each powered level of medbay. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's neat. I'm a reconstructive teleporter, of course. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know if, if that's saying that you can build the lab for free with a medbay level 2, or if that means that once the lab is built, then you can get the upgrades for free with the level 2 medbay? I don't actually know, but... Maybe it costs... 40... to get to level 2. Okay, okay. Interesting. You need a level 2 med bay to get the lab for free. Okay. I guess we just do that then. Oh, there's a link. And the merchant's there. Let's do this, this, and then go to merchant. Try that out. Hail them. Request for contact received. Timing is fortunate. We have an offer for you. Hunt down separatists and convert back to harmony. Location for dangerous separatist ship is known. Danger too high to engage. We ask you to capture the ship yourselves. Sure. Okay. I feel like that kind of works against the desires of our separatist NG. I don't feel like he would like us taking on that quest. But... I guess I don't care. Hey, Fluidia and Aiden, welcome on back. You've discovered a Harmony Link. These massive planet-sized structures, we already read that. A Suzerian ship is waiting near the beacon, likely hunting for Engi. Federation, we recommend staying away unless want to become next prey. They've even got bars, dude. Attack them! 
If have death wish, then let me be one to grant it. I think we'll boarding drone here. Crew teleport as well. They're gonna crew teleport over to us, which we can definitely handle. Let's go for it. Oh, that is Mantis, actually. I might not win combat with borders. But then again, with the boarding drone on there, maybe that's enough. Let's see what they send over. Is that a crystal? Mantis Suzrain. Double combat damage takes less combat damage. Wow, that's pretty scary. Oh, shit. I don't want to deal with that. I think it probably means I can do this, though. We're sending our drone. Let's see where our drone goes first. And then to decide what to do from that. There we go. Okay, so now we can go into piloting. That probably works. Do, do, do. They are fighting us, unfortunately, but the boarding drone being in weapons is really good. And they do have to split up. Okay, perfect. That means we're on a 2v1. Right, now I, I remember I can control the drone, yeah. I think it's good where it is now, though. Let's go for shields with our volley. There's that. Nice. Good stuff. Ooh, they're in trouble. They're already in big trouble. Sue's rain is gonna be uh, in trouble too. Okay, he's on the teleporter, so I actually do need to take care of that. He's gonna suffocate still though. I don't think I need my chain bomb right now. On all. There we go, nice. Sent him back. She's probably just gonna go fight, and that's good for us. Cho's gonna go for the pheromone. Come out in that room so fast, dude. That's so crazy. Alright, Cho, I believe, has killed the other mantis. Very nice. That's awesome. Good, 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 good. Uh, I've got my full volley. Let's go ahead and hit him. Missed a whole bunch of those. That's not too bad, though. I'm mostly going for the crew kill here, I think. I think I've killed two of them already. I mean, they're piloting offline. That guy's about to die. That's another dead one. Nice. Doo, 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 doo. I gotta redistribute out two on my ship. You two. That mantis is very quickly dying as well. He's probably just gonna come back and fight the boarding drone, yeah. Works for us. Thanks, Rune. Uh, I think we're ready to teleport back at this point. I think this guy's about to die, but might as well just let it happen. There we go. You move on to scrap the empty mantis ship. However, as you scrap the remains, you hear a clanging from the cargo bay. You open the cargo bay to find a mantis survivor who attacks you in rage. Oh shit, that's funny. I love that. <laughs> right, let's bring our boys back real quick. Get them in the healing bay. This thing's got, oh, I thought this was at one HP for some reason. Putting down fires is based on repairing skill. Oh, so those mantis are completely screwed over by fires then, huh? That's funny. I like that. Quick reminder, prime subs are free. That's a very helpful reminder. It's a great reminder that you may very well have a prime sub available to you if you click that subscribe button. Use some of that free Bezos money on me, baby. Well, let's go to the merchant. We got a decent amount of money here. You found the merchant yet again. Stranger, stranger. 
We reunited last. Got some new stocks since the last time we saw each other. Hmm. A renewal. Rev Godless. Popping that prime. Thank you very much for the bear hugs and resub. Appreciate it. He's got even more hold now. Yeah, this dude just keeps getting more powerful. This would be absolutely insane to fight. Uh, let's see. I don't think I can really afford to sell resources. I want to see what he's offering, though. I've been running out of slots for all these augments. You sure have. Holy shit. A well-structured guide on emergency procedures. Adds extra options to last-minute preparations before combat. That's interesting. Huh. Activates an EMP field which cripples the enemy reactor but is quite heavy on your own. Uses five power and two fuel. Ew. Jams the enemy shield generator, weakening the enemy shield system by two bars. Oh, that's an active use. That is very interesting. Huh. Seems pretty good. Two bars of shields is huge, dude. Disable the enemy hacking system completely. Hmm. I like this. I want to try this. It seems really good. So how do I use it? J. Rodimus. Thank you very much for the resubscription as well. Nine months on the pile. Bear hugs for him. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. How the heck do you use this thing? At the start of combat, when you toggle drones and stuff, you can activate it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool. Well, that's neat. Might just be like an alternative drone, you know? Put the two power in that instead. That seems like a good idea. Welcome on back, J-Rod. Go ahead and activate to, or try to attempt to download. Why not? Jam the enemy shields, right? Yeah, totally. It costs one fuel to do. Let's try it. You activate the combat augment. Continue to the fight. So I think that did get both shield levels. I'm pretty sure the enemy AI just immediately redistributed the power, right? I think that's what happened there. Because it says two. Oh, two bars is one sh- Oh, I misunderstood it. Okay, it's a little worse than I thought. That's still pretty good, but a little worse than I thought. One full level of shields, though, honestly, yeah, that's, that's- I mean, honestly, it might be a little overpowered if it was two levels. So, okay, that's fair. Yeah, we locked down our own reactive power as well, which is pretty tough. Oh, goodness, dude, their drones are not friendly. Uh-oh. That's bad. Oh, my God. Firebombs and stuff? Oh, boy. This is nasty. Let's take those drones offline. I want to deal with that. Let's fire out. You go ahead and help them in doors as well. The auto ship appears to be trying to escape. It might be cheap to roll out, but the Rebellion would prefer they weren't destroyed except when absolutely necessary. I didn't just say to not destroy this, right? I'm pretty sure that's not what that meant. There we go. You three stay there. Go ahead and heal up. Doop, 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 doop. 
Oh, it's just flavor text. Okay. I can't ever be too careful anymore, man. Sometimes they don't want me to murder stuff. That's a great surrender. Holy shit, that's good. In the nick of time for you guys, too. Jesus. That's really nice. That's a lot of good stuff. It's kind of weird that a drone can surrender, right? Yeah, I just thought that. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. Oh well. Oh yeah, I can spare the fuel, sure. An adaptive laser. What's that? Laser weapon that adapts to its situation, increasing its damage with every two volley shot. Wow. Oh, shit. That seems extremely good. We can do this. Ooh, that's... I think this is going to be really good. This seems really, really nice. I keep... But this fucking... Ah, uh, here? Right, can you see it? Uh, right there. Uh, uh Spot on my tongue? It's fucking... I don't know why I got that transition on either right now. <laughs> God damn, I keep biting that one spot on my tongue, man. It is inflamed. It just doubles the size. I can't not chomp down on it every ten minutes. Ugh. It's been like that for like a goddamn month. <laughs> wasn't close, close, wasn't close enough to see, right? Yeah? It's, 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 it's so sore! Wrap it up with gauze. There we go. That'll solve it. Oh, we gotta secure that cash. <laughs> Ooh, baby! That was a haul. Thank you. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's fun. Double, double combat drone? How about that? That could be fun. That could be a good time. Dude, we can get that going now. We're close to it anyway. Your situation with the fleet is known. We have proposition. Help us with killing hostile ship and we will delay fleet. Sure. Rebel auto ships, their AI is less than, less than satisfactory. Always getting lost. Now we must deal with lost ship in this sector. Sure. I, I want to kill this thing just for fun, dude. Um, I don't think I want to just use up all my fuel jamming shields when I don't really have to. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Let's, uh... I guess we're just chilling. Yeah, we're good. The Separatists warn you it's trying to escape and that you must kill it before it can. Okay. Mind control on my Orchid Boy. It's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna save my drone parts here. I'm gonna get that weapons upgrade so I can use Chain Bomb here as well. That'd be pretty huge. Once we get our, uh... Once we get our full volley online here, we'll just unleash on the weapons. I think it would missile off, unfortunately, so... I'll deal with that. Ba boom, And all of a sudden, the weapons are offline. Took two damage from that, that's not too bad. Welcome to the bear. Mythman! Thank you very much for the Prime. Welcome onto the pile. Appreciate it. Bear hugs for him if you got him. Thank you for the Prime subscription. Appreciate that a lot. Kind of want to use a drone here, but I'm pretty sure I'm better off just holding onto the part. Put their weapons offline pretty well, too, there, so that's good. Let's go for the shields that time. Mind control's finally done, everything's repaired, we're good to go. Here goes their shields! Good stuff! 
All right, time for the adaptive laser to do its thing. Energy is gonna go into piloting. I keep forgetting their FTLs charging, fuck. Ah, shit. It might be too late. Tell you what. No, I can't board. That'd be a dumb idea. That I just get my guy killed. I think it might be too late, man. Shit. This is charging fairly quickly, though. Let's just put everything on piloting. One more second. One more second on adaptive. There we go. There we go. Okay, thank goodness. Contact the Separatists. Very good. Now for your end of the offer. Please don't move your ship. The Separatists run a scan over your ship, giving you a tingly feeling all over your body. Teehee! The Separatists hail you again, but this time look very similar to you. My job is less than 100%, but it will work for now. I have mastered your jump signature. The fleet will now follow me. Good day. Sweet. We get another new track, too. Nice. All right. This is going quite well. There we go. Okay, everybody's back to full. Feels good. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that weapons level. Another power bar as well, just to be able to do that. It's pretty big. Go for this, this, quest beacon. We got plenty of time now. Plenty of time. Federation scum! No need to jam. We're good. Do nothing. It's a beam drone with simple laser and what looks like a big ass laser, so that's a little concerning, I guess. We'll probably go ahead and do a boarding drone here. I think we need to get some work done with the borders. Yeah, they've got some scary, scary equipment over there. Oh shit, I have my two combat drones active, damn it. Oh well. This should still be pretty good. So I'll definitely get this online once we do some effective damage to the shields. We win this 2v2 for sure. I'm gonna have them go ahead and seal the room too. Show to Conimal Pheromone. And this this guy should just die because of that, actually. That's a pretty sick combo. Dude, we just send these two into any room, seal it off completely, and that guy just dies. That's pretty goddamn good. I love that. Oh, that's a big laser. Ooh, that's scary. Oh, boy. Okay. That's not good. Do not want to let that thing fire again. All right. Lasers are ready. Wait for the bomb. Their piloting might be offline for this, too. That'd be huge. I think it's going to be. Might want to wait for that, actually. Nah, let's just fire. It was! It totally was! That was so good. Holy shit, this is awesome. Okay. You two, uh... Just chill, actually. Yeah, just wait there. I'm gonna teleport you back in a minute. No need to, uh, expose yourselves to danger there. Now once we've got our volley loaded up again... I have to wait for the cloak, right? That sucks. Oh well. Redistribute our O2, go to the med bay. Go ahead and power up O2 to get the... Get folks' lungs filled up real quick here. Can I just unload the full volley on weapons the whole time? Very nice. That's a decent amount of fuel. I feel like I can do better, though. I can do better than that. Eh, they got four shields again, shit. There we go. Good stuff. Just before the rebel ship explodes, an escape pod ejects from, from it. Unfortunately, it doesn't get far before you collect it and bring it aboard. You open out and drag it out and drag out the rebel officer inside. They beg that you let them live. 
Not today. As you grab the rebel by the arms and drag him into the airlock, he protests little. A tear rolled, rolls down his cheek as he stands up straight and accepts his fate. You close the airlock once again when his corpse has drifted a safe distance from the ship. Wow. Dark. Heavy. Goodness. We give that man a bare F, right? That feels respectable. We suggest you avoid the auto ship, it is broken. You notice the Separatist ship that hailed you hiding behind some large asteroids as well as the Zoltan-made auto ship barreling toward you. I wonder if jamming the shields would get rid of the overshield. Probably not. Probably not. Alright, back to posts. I don't really care about this. I'll just have the crystal guy mess with him. Alright, there's their overshield done. That was pretty effective. Let's just do this. I don't want to deal with that laser. Alright, healing up. Oh, actually, Cho, you need to heal. Wait for the full laser volley. Good lord. They have a lot of evade, apparently. Is some other laser still online? Come on, man. God damn it. Here, go help repair. Run, Cho, run! there. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. That's a little better. It's them pheromones, man. Cho goes lickety-split. I love it. That fucking laser. Oh my god. I gotta get some... I gotta do some engine upgrading soon here, man. That laser, any laser like that, it's gonna be a huge fucking problem. That's really bad. Very scary. Alright, back to posts. There we go. Good, I see why others get much enjoyment out of watching gladi gladiatorial combat. It's pretty entertaining, isn't it? Right. Engine upgrades. Pronto. Needed desperately. Or dodge chance. There's that. We're out of power again. No drones for us at the moment. Oh, I guess I have O2 powered. I can depower that again. So you've come to kill me and prepare for a battle, Federation. You remember the NG's orders to capture the ship without destroying it, knowing you'll have to kill their crew to do so. They have... one? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> oh no, one guy. The horror. I think those are all ion weapons? I know what to do. Oh, dude, I know exactly what to do. Here we go. Oh, they've got a goddamn repair drone slash battle drone, but guess what? Doesn't matter when we got these two. Boom, boom. Goodbye. Speed run. Speed run, NG kill. Oh, come on. He's got to be dead. Dude, the pheromones make a huge difference in the damage. It's crazy. Goodbye. Having successfully killed the crew of the Separatist ship, you left with two options. The NG have not yet arrived, but you can either scrap the ship or wait for the NG to arrive and pay you. Hmm. I'll wait. Ooh. You begin to think the NG will never arrive and the fleet will catch up when you finally see the silver holes. They thank you for your service and pay you heftily in both repairs and a drone. 
Nice. Excuse you. It's a bit rude. Well, that's fantastic, man. Holy shit. Really, really good. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Fuck. Power 02. Jesus. Stop doing that. Okay, everybody's back. We're good. The downside of good venting layouts, right? Yeah, is the moment you open the doors, everyone's like, no! All right, man. Feels good. This feels really good. That repair was huge. I've been able to spend a bunch of time in this zone. Though Separatists usually prefer isolation, a rare example of a Separatist colony is hosted on a nearby planet. The distress beacon appears to be originating from the planet's surface. Greetings, welcome, stranger. Consider yourself now welcome. We have requests. We've recently been, been infected by deadly virus. Oh, that's in parentheses. Casualties are over one-fourth of population. Hmm. Send my Separatists down to hell. Your NG attempts to debug the Separatists, but only ends up catching the virus themselves. It slowly erodes at the code that, continue, that causes it to maintain a solid shape, and evaporates as its nanobots scatter. The Separatists send their condolences, but have nothing else to say. That sucks. That's our weapons specialist. That really sucks. Damn it. Alright, well, congratulations, Curta Bird. You just got promoted to weapons. Damn, dude. Oh, well. Let's get going, I guess. We request aid and search for traitors. We require supplies. Agree to their absurd request. Yeah, that's pretty absurd. Contact and ask to negotiate further. Your NG requests to communicate with them. But NG ship doesn't respond, and after continuous hails, their weapons go online. What a bunch of jerks. Bunch of freaking jerks, dude. Alright. You got some, uh... Orders of their own. Oh boy, okay. Time to seal shit off. Is that an. Those are Separatist NG, aren't they? Pretty sure. Okay, that's probably not gonna be too big of a deal. Let's just have these dudes go in there and fight. Actually, that's probably gonna be better. I don't even need to. I don't even need to vent them, dude. Just fight them. Two borders. Jeez, that sucks. All right, let's do the ability real quick. You ain't getting out of here, Buckaroo. Sorry. All right, you need to run. You're not gonna do a lot of good in there right now. Do this. Oh, he activated his damage resistance thing, didn't he? Oh, never mind. He's still dying. Zeth Brogan! Thanks for the 11 months on the pile. Welcome back in. Appreciate you. Thank you for the subscription. The old bear hugs for him. Doop, 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 doop. Gotta get that breach repaired pronto. I think I should probably go ahead and use a drone here. need a little help. Now we're 0-2 as well. You two need to go kill these guys. Oh, never mind. He's just gonna die, I guess. That's fine. Okay, now we've got our bursts. They took off my chain bomb, unfortunately, but I have my full thing here, so let's just go for that. 
I'll try to just take those shields offline so the next adaptive laser shots can go for these. We'll burst their drones, actually. Let's get their drones offline. That's a good idea. It's going to make things a lot easier for me. Wait a minute. Oh, reduced suffocation damage. Interesting. Weird. They're still going to die. That's odd. Oh boy, I'm taking damage. I need to take their weapons off. I think that's going there, yeah. Alright, there goes one. Fighting that drone. Med base back online. I think we're okay. Really unfortunate uh, cloak there. No, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Gotta fight this thing. Go, Cho. Go, Cho. Obliterate it. I think we're gonna go for. Same laser shots we had before. Nice. I think the drones are offline. Good. There's the ship dead. Awesome. Let's send the NG and the Mantis. I wonder if this. Oh, nice. Counters the effect of the breach. All right, good stuff. Let's get that back. We took some licks there, but not too bad. Back to posts, everybody. All right, cool. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's get the hell out of here. I need more fuel soon, for sure. Uh, check the storage. Perform a task. From a salvage mission. Well, let's repair the hole, maybe. Oh, right. No, never mind. Don't do that. Salvage mission, for sure. Little of value. Damn. Bummer. Alright, I think we're ready. Let's do it. Ooh! Both of these have exclamation points, which means there's a ship unlock in both of them. Ooh, man. Boo -doo -boo -ba -doo -boo. Hmm. Let's go for the shipyard. That seems cool. An achievement. Oh, we unlocked Multiverse Cruiser Slot A. Sick. Another song. This sector is the center of auto ship production. With a much larger staff of engineers protecting it, don't be surprised to run into a few well armed engineer vessels along with the usual auto ships of this sector. You've discovered the central automated rebel shipyards. This sector is no doubt swarming with automated ships and factories. You receive a message from the Auto Guard. This is Unit A786. Your identity, Federation. Federation ships are not permitted to enter this sector. Entering hostile deterrence mode. Lock your weapons onto the guard and move into attack. No way we're spending fuel here. Oh shit! That's a bop. Beep, 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 beep. Ah, uh, we're good. You catch chatter on the other ship mentioning something about the signal requesting for ASB backup. Oh my god! Fuck, with the cloaking right away too. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, we're not teleporting, that's for damn sure. Hmm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> is that an anti... I don't think that's gonna shoot down my drones. I don't think it will. I think it's gonna get projectiles, though. That might be worse. I gotta probably stop this dude from... destroying shields. I think I actually need Cho to go in there and do it. Quickly, Cho. Quickly. It should stop him. The missile hit med bay. That's not too bad. We can repair that. Let's get our combat drone online now. Okay, good. We didn't kill our mantis. Or not our mantis, our NG, I mean. Okay, good. Gotta get that missile offline as soon as possible. I'll probably just go ahead and chain bomb that. ASB's coming in. Nice dodge. Very good. ASB in a non-critical room. That's pretty helpful. Happy about that. I need to heal my NG probably, but I think I... Well, he doesn't need to repair the... Breach. Probably fine. Chain Bomb hit the weapons. Let's go for our first volley. My bomb got that... Missile offline. That's huge. Oh, nice. Hit piloting for one with the combat drone. That's really helpful. NG and med bay should be good. He's got enough HP at this point. Those two are just gonna bug each other for a minute. That's fine. Yeah, I don't care about that. Oh, that breach is still there. Fuck. the damn breach. Almost there with the volley again. Basically do the same thing here. There we go. Holy shit, that did the job. Oh my god, speaking of do doing the job, yikes, ASB is murdering me here. Power up the O2. Dude. I think we're okay. You go fix this, you go fix this. drone. Almost. Almost. Their weapons are offline. I'm not sure why the O2 is not being replenished. I thought with O2 activated plus the plant that would be enough. I guess with the breach it's not quite there. Alright, they are basically dead. That's actually sh Oh, I should have... I should have bombed the cloaking, because that it means probably an ASB is about to get me. Yeah, that's really shitty. God damn. Oh, maybe. Come on, combat drone. Just hit him. Just hit him one time. I, I believe. Yes! Oh, man. Okay, good. Holy cow. You gotta get the fuck out of here, dude. It's still... Fuck. By killing the auto guard, you've no got doubt caused them to dispatch reinforcements to track you down. I should probably repair. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, fuck. Repair the breach. 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 survived. We're alive. Man. It's been rough. Let's see. Desperately need fuel and repairs again. What else is new? Skazy, thanks for the raid, appreciate it. Welcome everybody. It's probably high time I got my boarding drone available again, since we're obviously not going with double combat drones right now. Honestly, having that defense drone at some point might have been pretty useful too, but oh well. Oh yeah, no, we've come back from wars for sure. I just need some fuel pretty desperately, unfortunately. A surveyor, a class deployed by the rebels to scout out sectors autonomously. If you capture its black box, you should be able to access the data. Attack! Destroy the ship and the data's yours. Do nothing. God, every damn ship's got mind control, dude. Go ahead and power up our teleporter here. Go for extra engines. Ah, they mind controlled Chodakana. That sucks. Let's use a boarding drone. That sounds good. Get some work done. Probably go ahead and bomb their shields. And then we'll, uh. Oh, that is a halberd, actually. Let's bomb that. Let's have the boarding drone. How do I control this thing? I thought I'd just click and move it like a different or like a like a crew member, but apparently not. These guys are killing each other. Oh, there's no door connecting that, I just realized. Okay, that's why I can't okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. I'll just keep them in shields then I guess. That's probably pretty effective. Go for everything on weapons here. Yeah, the halberd online still, but it did reduce the charge a little bit. There we go. All right, that's offline. That's good. That's pretty huge. Shields are down. That sucks. Oh god. gonna be a problem. Okay. You go help. Oh no, that's not repairs, I guess. It's just power to the shields here. It's an energy drone, huh? Yeah, man, that's tough. Let's take that offline. There we go, that's better. That's more like it. charge. There we go. This automated ship has taken damage in combat. It will now proceed to escape. Do not cause further damage to this ship. Ah, uh, I can't. I can't hurt it anymore, guys. It said not to. Damn it. Ah. Uh, if only they hadn't politely requested I not damage it any further. I might still be able to win. Oh well. Come 
Good lord, that is... Ridiculous. How many shots it just dodged. Holy shit. Come on. There we go. There we go. You scrap the remains of the auto surveyor and bring up bring aboard its black box. You have two options, either transmit false data to the rebels to delay them or download to get a sector map. Oh, gotta get a sector map, absolutely. Nice. All right, we've got to find fuel badly. Very, very badly. Here's hoping we get lucky, I guess. That's pretty much all I can hope for. All right. Oh boy. Check the storage. Maybe just run a salvage mission here, I guess. Your crew stumble upon an abandoned minefield. Certainly dubious, but also a potential source of a large amount of ammo and scrap. Uh, I don't know, man. This is not a good idea. Take the risk. With some amount of grace, your crew manages to drift through the field without setting off any explosives. Disarming as many as they can, they bring back an impressive haul. Let's go. I'm so poor. <laughs> this is so bad. Not poor. I didn't mean to say poor. I'm obviously quite wealthy in scrap, but I have no fuel and no HP, and that's really bad. New song, though. That's exciting. Holy shit. Uh, how about some level three shields just to maybe keep us alive? Can we burn some scrap for fuel? I think that might actually be an option. Or some form of that. Well. Turn the distress beacon on, I guess. Oh boy. Here we go. Yeah! Oh, thank you! Gladly trade. Yay, 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 yay! Never punished. Never punished, away we go. A ship full of rebel engineers is under fire from a pirate vessel. They hail you and request that you save them. Save them, sure. Give that a try. Try being a good guy for once. I gotta go back to post, dude, shit. Let's go ahead and teleport over there. I actually don't know what they've got going on on that ship, so maybe we go to sensors first and actually resave these spots. They have one crew member. Oh, wait a minute. What the fuck? A phantom? Whoa. They got goddamn ghosts. Go, 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 ghosts. <laughs> Well, we could board this. You better start believing in ghost stories. <laughs> oh, we gotta do our super move here. Bonk. Got him. Level three shields is probably gonna be pretty damn good here too. Blow up that clone bay. Take off their weapons. Oh, ho, 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 devastation! Carnage! Let's go. Clone bay offline. They're just dying, dude. Their whole crew's getting killed. Goodbye, phantoms. All right, let's go ahead and uh, head back home. Get healed up real quick. 
Their weapons are offline, not like they're doing much. Bye. Are you gonna fight my boarding drone, huh? I don't know about that. Oh, it can't suffocate, right, yeah, of course. It probably still dies to the boarding drone, though, I would assume. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna win this fight. It's close. It might. Yeah, I think it might. God damn you. Yeah, it doesn't get killed by the fire either. I think I have to blow it up. That's fine. See ya. Oh, there's one right- I didn't even see that dude. Ah, shit. Whatever, just do this. There we go. Alright. With the crew dead, you take as much salvage from the ship as possible. Three fuel. Yo! I didn't expect you to actually help. I have no ship left, no crew, nothing. I suppose it will do me no harm to work aboard yours. Nice! Alright. It's a shame we already have an engines expert. But, uh, that's fine. Less damage from fires learns repairs even faster. Cool. Oh, it's a special kind of human. Yeah, that's neat. Well, you're going to doors, buddy. Mm. Neato. That's a good looking crew. Okay. I guess we'll go to this. Man, it's unfortunate. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit much of this stuff. I better go here if I want to have a chance of doing that. This is so cool, man. It appears a large generator has been sculpted onto the face of a nearby snow planet. It's quite a spectacle, but something is wrong. Whoa! A battalion of pirate ships flies away, chased off by a distant rebel ship. A warning plays over the intercom. It is recommended that all personnel evacuate power grid 800 immediately. Catastrophic reactor failure is imminent. Estimated 10 minutes remaining until collapse. Swing by! Just get, swing on by try to grab some supplies. Why not? Oh, fuck. You're stopped by a large engineer vessel. Engineer Mothership. We told you to get the hell out of here. Though the ship moves in to chase you off, you can't help but notice that reactor countdown is still going and you figure the engineers must know as well. Otter de los Muertos, thank you for the 17 months. Welcome on back in. Well, this definitely feels like an opportunity to jam the enemy shields. Let's do that, yeah. Okay. Here we go. I can't imagine I'm gonna be able to win this, dude. These guys look stacked. Two drones? Oh boy, oh boy, okay. And hacking the shields, oh no. I'm probably dead. This looks brutal. A lucky dodge at least that hack goes forever too holy shit oh god this is already terrible this I've already lost this is abysmally bad I didn't realize I was just walking into an absolute massacre in an instant here good lord This does not seem doable. Might as well try that. Oh my god. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Good point. Yeah, I better... Keep these guys here for repairs. I can do this. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Thank you. I couldn't even see this! They're charging their FTL too? Good lord! You gotta, oh, right, yeah, the timer on this, of course, because the... Oh, my God. This is madness, dude. Fucking hell. Well, get the med bait. Oh, my 
god. You just keep hitting me. I can't do anything about it. The shields can't even come back online. I haven't even gotten my drone over there yet. Yeah, the hack was brutal, dude. I'm just dead. There's nothing I can do, man. This is just unwinnable. I honestly didn't even get the chance to do anything. I really didn't. I mean, I get their shields low, but that's not nearly going to be enough. Jeez, dude. Nothing I can do, man. That was just... Good lord. Good lord. Unbelievable. Man! It's like a mini-boss has showed up out of nowhere. Holy shit. If they hadn't hacked shields, I think we might have been able to win that. But the shield hack was just... That just did me in, dude. That was just absolutely devastating. Wow. That was cool, man. Nothing mini about that boss. Yeah, that was just a boss straight up. Wow. Well, that was a lot of fun, man. I'm very impressed with Multiverse. This is a really solid mod. I don't think anyone's surprised to find that out. Very, very impressive stuff. Wow. Good new music, too, all that. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Well, I guess that'll do for now. Heck of an introduction to Multiverse, though, huh? What a treat. Alright, everybody. Hope you had fun today. Thanks for being here. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for all the subs, gifted, resubscriptions, and thank you for being here and keeping the pile strong. Appreciate the support immensely. Uh, more multiverse for sure. I might be back tonight, actually. I think I might get the itch, because FTL's been so, so much fun for me lately. You may see me back here tonight for even more, even more multiverse. For now, I'm definitely gonna go get some lunch and hang out for a little bit, just relax and enjoy my afternoon. I hope you do the same. And uh, I'd say more than likely, honestly, come on back tonight. Uh, and if not then, absolutely tomorrow morning around 9 a.m. Pacific for some more FTL multiverse. Catch the VOD over on youtube.com slash bear taffy as well. We'll be pimping that incredible thumbnail that Cho Takana made for us. Thank you so much, Cho, for that. Uh, that's it. That's it. More multiverse on the way. We got Darkest Dungeon Black Reliquary mod coming soon as well. Look forward to that. Let's raid somebody.